watching Prime Morning. And uh, like we promised you, a Claire music is right here in the building. Hi, a Claire. I'm blessed. Hi, 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 love. I'm, I I'm love. loving everything about you. Your shoes, yes, your eye clad, <laughs> your nails, your nails. <laughs> Ooh, my days! <laughs> Do you get people asking you how you're able to manage their meals? Yeah, I have people asking me, hey, how do you wash? How do you eat? <laughs> hey, can you scratch your body? <laughs> <laughs> but do you wash? Yeah, I do. You wash with your hands? That's so how you actually come have some a washing of the machine. Design. No, I don't have a washing machine. I, I, I like the manpower. Really? Yeah, because the machine sometimes, you see, it fades certain clothes. That's yeah. what people don't know. Yeah, so you have your favorite dress. You once you put it in the machine, it mash up. Yeah, so. So how long have you been keeping long nails like this for? You see, the the secret is I I chew my nails when right. sometimes I'm overwhelmed and I'm alone in thoughts and okay. all that. I tend to chew my nails mm -hmm. a lot. So why not just get them fixed to avoid because sometimes it eats into the flesh. Right. Yeah. So. Mm. But you could have gotten them fixed, you know, like. No, I like them life. long. Any. <laughs> I like them long. <laughs> your style is different. Yes, You've style. been doing music for a while. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your style. Yesterday, I actually chanced on an interview where you were talking about the number of piercings you have, and KMG was like, <laughs> I want to know where the others are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I started music for a long time ago. Yeah. Um, I started way back in Nigeria when I ran away from home. Mm. You see, growing up, I was a, a bit rebellious. So I, I was, and I wanted to do music. So I was like, rebellious? You, you oh, no, nah, it's just shaped me into who I am today. Okay. Yeah, I'm more mm. reserved. I don't like doing the things I used to do when I was 24, 23. Okay. Yeah. How old are um, you now? I'm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm plus one. <laughs> <laughs> but. You see, I have a 13-year-old daughter, and sometimes I sit back and I'm like, yo, I think if my girl does this, I wouldn't like it. So why not just work on myself and, mm. and be a better person? So one day I sat down and I was like, yo, I'm going back home. If I say I want to do music, I have to do it home base. We Rastafarians, we have a saying that you have to dance a yard before you dance abroad. Yeah, so I, I, I came back to Ghana and my dad was like, yo, the music, dear, you do it by now. Go to school. Wow. Yeah, so I went back to Nafti and, okay. and did broadcast journalism. Wow. But the music was what I wanted to do. So after Nafti, I told him, but okay, yeah, school. Be an empty square or any more fan on his small. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, okay, so you have. So one day the conference was hosted at the Music Rastafari right. Conference. And I was opportune to be there, and I met Kojo Kombolo, mm. and uh, we recorded my first single. Okay. But you see, as 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 a young artist, mm -hmm. I I like to explore. I like to see things beyond the way I imagined them. And it wasn't so. Although they did things for me, it wasn't the way I wanted it. So one day he had his birthday at Virtual Hub, and. God so good, I got an opportunity there to work with the CEO of Revolution Records, Mr. Nathaniel Lamachi. Okay. And um, so far, so good. That's we how come tell. we're here so today. We can tell. So good, ain't it? Yeah. So you are Rastafarian, like you said. Yeah. Uh, but your hair, you don't have locks. Do yeah, you? you don't have to dread to be Rasta. Mm. Yeah, Rastafari what makes you Rasta? is the inward circumcision of your heart. Mm. Yeah. And I, um, as Rastafarian, we hear that you say that, you know, he, uh, marijuana is a herb. Yeah, is used marijuana actually is used in uh, different in different ways. It's used for medicinal purpose, mm. and also is used as a sacrament. Just the way the Roman Catholics use the marijuana as um, they use the incense, incense the mm. frankincense, and the myrrh as sacraments. That's how we too use our marijuana. Okay, so yeah. do you take it in? Um, when, when, after our worship, we have meeting sessions and all that. When we have the Nayabingi chant, mm. that's when we get to use it. Okay. Yeah, it so gives you, you a higher meditation. So for you, you only use it after the service? After the service. It's not compulsory for you to use it. If you don't use it, it's fine. No, but for Akle. But for Akle media, privately. You use it? Yeah, I use it privately. So do you, do you eat it or you smoke it? Yeah, I chew it. Oh, you chew it? Yeah, okay. I chew it. Because okay. you see, I have um, 
those that are close to me know know my medical condition. I have um, gastritis. Okay. Yeah, so I chew it and it heals oh, my wounds from inside. Wow. Yeah, I have ulcer. It's very bad. So marijuana has healed your ulcer? It hasn't healed it, but um, it. you see, it's not like it used to be. When, when my ulcer comes, it's very painful, very, very um, discomfort. Like, I feel uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah, so um, when I chew it, it, it gives me some kind of ease. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Oh, that's good. Actually, yeah. we've heard about the medicinal side of it. Yeah, it's but very it's medicinal. it's also addictive. I, I, are you addicted to it? No. Okay. It's not, it's not addictive if you don't make it addictive. All right. Some people feel like, oh, I can't live without mm, it. But you can live without it. Why not? How long have you been taking marijuana? Um, since I was, I think, since I was 20, 28. Oh, wow. Yeah. What got um, you into it? Nothing got me into it. I researched and I found out that in countries like Colorado and other parts of America, they, they marijuana it, is, yeah. is used for a lot of purposes mm -hmm. and it's very, very... It's very good, actually. But people have this bad notion, and coupled with the Rastafari, it, that, it makes it... I know, People right. just look at you. I'd, excuse and they me. And it makes you high. It makes you a bit woozy. Woozy. Mm -hmm. So you like this when you take it, you go woozy? Me, me because I, it looks like I'm immune to it now. Oh, yeah, hey. So if I take and it... Yeah, you've taken pa. No, not pa. But you're immune to it. You see, maybe immune is not the word. OK. Um, uh huh. Me, me, you see, I am a me calm me down. Okay. Unlike, say, be a me in your discomfort, be a na be a. And like, me, you see, and I take the omeprazole tablet, rather, okay. it makes me feel oh. somehow. Okay. You see, we humans were different. Yeah. It might be good for me, it might not be good for, for you. Somebody. Yeah. I clap music. <laughs> Let's think about your new release, though. Yeah. You, oh, what is a. Dance song. Yeah. Ay, 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 Reggae ay, dance song. Can you sing one line for me? <laughs> me body good, me body good, me body good. Me, ay, queen of the course, me not take back chat. Them y'all test me, them I go run, go back. Louis V. Pamiris, me no way sound cross. That I wear the king man set. Me Aye. king ma pay the bills and him get well late. Me eyes for me fingers Aye. and me get well paid. Aye. How I do you, girl? How I do you? Ah, that's how the king man said. Ah, Claire! <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, let's oh. take a look at the video, man. Charlie, you're too dope. You're too dope.